first stepped on the court, I loved it right from the start. Who wouldn't love that? And you get to hit it really hard and hit it at people. Sometimes you hit guys in the head and you feel really good about yourself. <laughs> you hear kids, it's like, oh, I always want to go, go to the Olympics. I don't even think I remember saying that because I just never fathomed that it was a possibility that it could ever happen. So not in a million years that I think I'd be sitting here and saying I'm going to Rio. It was pure joy, a sense of relief after 10 years of trying. Uh, tears started streaming down my face. Felt a little bit like a baby, just kind of blubbering there because I, I didn't know how to react or process it. Everything culminated in a way where we had to qualify not easily. We had to go to a tournament that was really difficult for us and we managed to persevere through it. When you haven't qualified for 24 years and you've been working hard towards something the whole time, it feels like a weight is lifted off your chest. My mom is the greatest. She's a lady who, for a large chunk of her life, raised two kids on her own and two kids who could have eaten her out of house and home. <laughs> the food bills alone must have been crazy. But a lot of people don't know that she's the one who pushed me into playing volleyball. I never wanted to play. And she kind of pushed me and convinced me to go try out for a team and made a lot of it happen. It's just so special. I have a family here in Saskatoon. And then I basically think I have a whole other family. Glenn is like a father to all of us. He has been for years. And I have a bunch of brothers on the team. I'm so close to them. I'm almost as close to them as I am my own brother. I don't take it lightly to wear the maple leaf on my heart in any competition. And now we get to do it at the Olympics. own voice presented by .ca. Choose Canada. Choose .ca.